Alright guys, so we've got some nice fresh salmon here that we've just caught. Um, we've just cleaned it up as well, so that video will be available as well shortly. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some marinated salmon rosemary skewers. Um, we've already cleaned up the salmon, so if you're not sure on how to do that, maybe check out our other bit. Uh, and that'll that'll help you out there. So what we've got here, if you just have a look down, <coughs> is we've got two fresh salmon fillets. Uh, I've cut out the lateral line, the, some of the pin line bones, just to make it a little bit easier for the process. Um, so all we do here is we basically want four fairly even pieces. You're always going to have a bigger one and a smaller one, but that's fine. Okay. <coughs> Now I've already prepared some rosemary, but I've left one aside as well just to show you guys how we did it. What we're doing is we, you just grab a stick of rosemary, make sure it's washed and clean, it's free of bugs. All right, you grab it about three quarters of the way up, okay, and then just strip it, just like that. All right. Now when you cut the rosemary, try and get yourself a bit of a point on the end, okay, because that'll help you spare the. Uh, Bit of fish itself. It also works really well with lamb, guys. Obviously, rosemary and lamb is a really good combination, so give that a shot as well. Now, with the rosemary we've already prepared, I've got it soaking in water, um, probably only for about 10 minutes or so. Um, it shouldn't mess with the integrity of the, the wood itself, but what it does do is help stop those tips from burning. So, once we've got our rosemary, I'll just grab a slightly straighter one. Obviously, you want to try and pick nice, long, straight pieces, free from branches. Um, you're basically trying to get as close as you can to a skewer, so just grab, your, grab yourself a bit of fish and a bit of rosemary, um, and you just start at the fattest part and just try and feed it right through as close to the center of the fish as you can. I'm just getting the way of the camera a bit better for you. Um, so you're just feeding it through the center of the fish. It doesn't matter if it bunches up a little bit, we just don't want too much bunching, that's all and sort of spread it out as far as you can just along the fish itself okay now what we've got over here is we've actually got a marinating container we're about to chuck some marinade on there once we're done as well so just lay them in there just like that and we'll just do the rest quickly mm -hmm. so that's the last one in the container sort of spread them out fairly evenly try and get them as sort of close as you can together without sitting on top of each other now to make a marinade, just a really basic one, uh, we're going to start off with, this is my own product, this is the Gourmet Guru Sweet Chili and Mango Sauce, uh, a bit of a selfless plug, um, but any sort of Thai sweet chili sauce will suffice, that's fine. No, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Just a little bit, sort of blotchy, blotchy, blotchy. Fine. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of macadamia oil. The reason why we're using macadamia oil is because it's not a very overpowering flavour. It does give it a little bit of hint to that macadamia, but it doesn't overpower the product. Um, it also has a, a quite a high burning point as well, which means that you're less likely to burn that in the pan. Any sort of vegetable oil will suffice, or a really light olive oil. The reason why we say a light olive oil is because you don't want to overpower the flavour of that fish. Right. I've just got half a lemon here, maybe two, we'll soon find out. Just need the juice of that one. No, half a lemon will be fine. A little bit of salt and pepper. The lazy man's uh, grinder. Right, and what we want to do is just cover that with a bit of glad wrap. If you got one, obviously it would be better, but I'm just going to whack that in the fridge. 
So we've let it marinate for about 10 minutes in the fridge. Probably don't want to give it too much longer than about 10 to 15 minutes because the lemon juice will actually start cooking the fish. Um, Acids do that. So we'll go through that later. We'll set up another video on how to do a lemon cooked uh, fish fillet. If you're out on the boat, you don't have anything to play with cooking wise. So it's quite a good little, uh, good little recipe. So as you can see, we've let it marinate. It's nicely, uh, nicely all stuck together and nicely coated. So. What we've done here is on a, a sort of a very low heat, we've preheated this pan with a little bit of that macadamia oil in there. Um, once again, any sort of vegetable oil will do the job as well. Just try to avoid olive oil because it is a very strong flavour and it will overpower the flavour of the fish. So, alright, we've got it nice and warm. The way you can test it is, uh, I'm just going to grab a rosemary flower, but you can also, you know, chuck a bit of leaf or something in there as well. Alright, see how she starts to sizzle, but it doesn't burn. Alright, that's when you know that she's uh, she's good to go. So just get rid of that. Alright, now into your pan, make sure it is nice and warm. Lay your fish. Now this pan is probably a little bit small. But she'll do the job today. If you need to, you can hold the hold the fish down. I've got a pallet knife, um, but you can also use a spatula as well. Just hold the fish down a little bit. Now you only want to fish. You only want to flip this fish uh, once, okay? Because if you start playing around with it too much, you're actually going to uh, kill the proteins in the fish. And it's going to start breaking up on you and just make it a nightmare to serve it. So. Probably only needs about 40 seconds to a minute on each side. You can see it just starting to cook through now. I'll just give her a little bit longer. Nearly there. Now I wish you were here guys because it smells fantastic with that rosemary starting to sizzle. You can really smell that rosemary. Uh, the chilli and the sugars from the sweet chilli sauce come through as well. A little bit of a hint of mango with my particular sauce, that's quite nice, but you know, obviously if you just use a standard Thai sweet chilli, you won't get that. Right, now hopefully, we've done it properly, it's fairly easy to, uh, to flip her over. Sometimes they play nice. This was that one that I was a bit funny about doing, so just bear with us. Ideally you want a bigger pan than this, or a barbecue. Just let that cook for a minute. Just turning the heat up a little bit, guys. Um, because what's happened is the, the fish has taken a lot of the heat out of the oil. You don't want it to stew because it will actually stick to the pan. Alright, she's good to go. You know that it's ready when it starts flaking. We won't serve this one, we'll just pull this one apart because she's pretty uh, knackered anyway. When it starts flaking like that, you know that she's cooked. Okay. Now how you serve it? Pick the better side. Well, it's just on the plate. It's maintaining most of its integrity anyway. Just ran out of memory on the camera there for a second. Um, what we've done to garnish it quickly is just a few of those lemon wedges left over from that half a lemon earlier. A little bit of rosemary taken off that tip uh, that we demonstrated. Um, and she's good to go. Enjoy.